friends, I'm Diana Dandelion, and I'm here today to celebrate April's vegetable of the month, potatoes! Do you love potatoes? I love eating potatoes, planting potatoes, everything potatoes. It's early spring, it's a little soon to be planting potatoes, but I am eager to get my garden growing for the season. So today I'm going to show you how to prepare a garden bed to plant potatoes. I'll show you how to find the eyes on a potato and then to divide them and plant them. The potato is a vegetable native to South America. There are many different varieties of potatoes and now they are an important crop and culinary staple all over the world. Potatoes are grown from seed potatoes or tubers. Here are potatoes that I saved from my garden last year. A container of them. So what we're looking for on the potato are the eyes that form. Let's see if any of them have them. Ooh, there's one right there. This one has many. So that is a sprout that is going to form a new potato. Using a sharp, clean knife, I'm going to slice the larger seed potatoes into smaller pieces, about two inches square. Each piece must contain at least one or two eyes, or buds. Potatoes may be planted as soon as the ground can be worked in the early spring, when the soil temperature has warmed. Potatoes grow well in rows. Dig a trench that is six to eight inches deep. Plant each piece of potato, cut side down, with the eyes pointing up. My garden is small, so I'm going to plant my seed potatoes every eight inches. Now that the seed potatoes are planted, we can fill the trench with four inches of soil. Let the plants start to grow and then continue to fill the trench and even mound the soil as the plants continue to grow. After planting and watering, sprouts will emerge and root growth begins. The plant will continue to grow above the soil developing leaves, branches, and then flowers. Below the soil, new tubers are being formed. When it's time to harvest, gently dig in the soil to find the potatoes. I love this part because it's like finding treasure in the soil. This is the part of the plant that we eat, the tuber. Welcome to my kitchen. Let's get cooking our vegetable of the month recipe. Today we're going to be making a warm potato salad with chive and lemon vinaigrette. Mmm. So I chose to use new potatoes. It's just a small potato and I picked purple potatoes because purple is my favorite color and I thought it would be fun to make a purple potato salad. Let's take a look at the ingredients we need to make this recipe. Here I have potatoes, chives, olive oil, garlic, whole grain mustard, lemon, sea salt, and peppercorns. So the first thing we need to do is wash the potatoes. If you're using a small potato, you can keep it whole. If you're using a larger potato, let's cut them into quarters. Some of these potatoes are a little bit on the bigger side, so I am going to cut them with my sharp kitchen knife. So just remember to practice your safe knife skills and take it slow with potatoes because sometimes they want to roll away. And check out the inside of these amazing purple potatoes. Okay, now that I've cut my potatoes up, 
I'm ready to cook them. To cook the potatoes, I'm going to put them in a saucepan, cover them with water. I'll bring this to a boil. While the potatoes are cooking, we can make the vinaigrette. First, we'll need a clove of garlic. And I have this trick for peeling the paper off the garlic. You flatten it with a knife a little bit and then it peels right off. And I'm going to chop this clove of garlic finely. I'm going to add all of the vinaigrette ingredients into this bowl. So we have the garlic. Next, we're going to juice a lemon. I have this juicer right here. Okay, I've squeezed just about as much lemon juice as I can out of this one lemon. I'm going to make sure there aren't any seeds. And then we need to measure four tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. It was the perfect amount from just that one lemon. Our next liquid ingredient for the vinaigrette is olive oil. We also need four tablespoons of olive oil. So I'm going to measure it out. We're going to use one teaspoon of salt. And one teaspoon of whole grain mustard. And finally, I'm going to take my chives, give them a nice chop. Add it to the dressing. I'm going to mix all of this together. You can use a whisk if you have a whisk at home. All the ingredients are coming together. The final touch for the dressing, we're going to use the zest of the lemon. So I take the zest from the lemon by using a vegetable peeler and you just carefully skim the outside of the lemon. All of my lemon peel is not making it into the bowl. There we go. Okay, we'll give it one more mix together. Smell strong. The potatoes are tender and finished cooking. Strain through a colander and let cool slightly. Okay, our potatoes are done cooking. I've been letting them cool slightly. I'm going to transfer them to this serving dish. They are fully cooked and now we're ready to dress it with the vinaigrette that we made. I can already see that the potatoes are starting to absorb the dressing and it smells so good. Okay so that's completely mixed in. Last step I'm going to sprinkle some chopped chives on top. A little bit more sea salt, just a sprinkle. And then some fresh ground black pepper. And there we go, our warm potato salad with chive and lemon vinaigrette.